welcome to our evening on open source in space. Um, um, thank you very much to Bill Hartley, who will host this evening, for putting this all together. And I will hand over Bill to introduce the speakers in a moment. But just a bit before we start, I'm Jeremy Bennett. I'm the chair of the British Computer Society Open Source Specialist Group. And the British Computer Society, which operates under a royal charter and is part of the Engineering Council, is the professional body for computing in the UK. Um, its work is carried out by its various specialist groups and member groups. And the Open Source Specialist Group, with more than 1,600 members, is by far the biggest uh, group for professional software engineers, open source software engineers in the UK, and indeed, probably one of the biggest in the world. Um, we hold, we have a remit to educate, which is what this e evening is part of, and we have an, in, uh, um, a remit to inform the wider public. And for that, we do a lot of work with advocacy and outreach, and we're trying to grow that, providing support to other bodies, but, um, groups like the Risk Five Foundation, and hosting meetings for them and providing a vehicle for their activities. Um, and indeed, we contribute. So I've been part of the European Commission's expert group uh, looking at open, the commercial impact of open source hardware and software in the UK. Our meetings are held jointly with the UK Open Source Hardware User Group, OSHUG. So welcome to our OSHUG members. And at the heart of our activities are our monthly meetings, of which this is our May meeting. Um, but we do have a regular program of events. Uh, next week, next month will be our open, our open source student projects evening, where we'll have a mixture of undergraduate and PhD student projects presented. And those will be short talks. We're looking at 15 minute talks there. So there'll be quite a few of those. Um, in July, uh, Seven Janian is organizing a meeting on open source power PC. And that includes a talk from the uh, leadership of the open power. Uh, group. Um, um, and also in July, we have our quarterly Risk Five London Risk Five meetup uh, for the Risk Five International. Um, we're going to try and focus on formal methods in Risk Five uh, in July. Uh, in um, August, we've got a joint meeting, a first for us with the London Rust Group. Um, uh, we've previously run events on Rust, but this is the first joint meeting with the London Rust Group. Um, we moved to the world of AI. We're looking at open source intelligence in September. Um, and in October, we come to members lightning talks. That's our annual event, lots of 10 minute talks. And we've had um, huge fun with those talks over the years. I remember a great talk on open source sous vide cookery a couple of years ago and indeed uh, a very entertaining talk on a completely overpowered open source water jet uh, for powering uh, an electric powered uh, surfboard. Um, so great fun with those. And that is also our AGM. I should be standing down as chair, though members willing, I should remain a part of the committee. So we'll be looking for a new chair for next year. And we encourage people to join the committee. This work we do is best achieved by a large group of individuals, each contributing a bit. So if you'd like to put yourself forward, um, please talk to anyone, talk to me or any other member of the committee. So with that and our little batteries, I'd like to hand over to Bill Hartley. For, this is a first for us. It's the first time we've had three international speakers at one evening event. Fantastic lineup. I'm looking forward to a very exciting evening. I'm going to drop off and hand over to Bill to tell you all about it. Thanks, Bill. Hello, good evening. My name is Bill, Bill Hartley, and I'd like to welcome you to this special session of Open Source in Space. Uh, as Jeremy said, it's brought to you by British Computer Society Open Source Special Group. And uh, tonight we've got an amazing lineup of speakers for you from LibreSpace, LibreCube, and Open Space. As you know, Space exploration has traditionally been the province of large national space agencies, but over the last decade or so, it started to open up. So tonight, we brought together some great speakers to you, for you, and uh, together we're going to look at some of the myriad ways 
in which open source technology can help to widen participation in the development of the space sector. First, just a little housekeeping information. Um, if you've got any questions, as you no doubt will, please pop them into the chat window, uh, which should be on the left side of your screen. And uh, of course, just remember that the meeting is being recorded. So you should be on mute if you're not speaking. So thanks for that. Uh, so let's get straight away. And um, I'd like to present our first speaker for this evening. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Eleftherius Cosmos, I hope I pronounced that correctly, of Libra Space Foundation. Uh, and he has a talk on the theme of claiming space the Libra way from basement workshop to orbit. So 